What muscles do I use when I take a free throw? Excellent question, LeBron. So you could imagine whenever you do anything, whenever you stand or even run, you're using a ton of muscles just to keep your balance, just to keep your body rigid. But what we're going to focus on are the muscles in particular that are directly acting on the ball to make the ball go in that direction, to make it accelerate upwards and towards the basket, which you would hopefully do when you are taking a free throw. So the muscles that are doing that are the ones that help your fingers go help your fingers go in that direction, help the palm of your hand go in that direction, and help your entire forearm, your entire forearm to go in that direction. And obviously, there's a ton of other muscles at work, even the muscles that keep your entire arm above your head like this, the muscles that keep you standing, but we're just going to focus on these muscles right over here. So first, the muscles that make you, allow your fingers to go in the direction of the, that you want the ball to go in, and then your palm. And you might be surprised to find that most of those muscles actually do not sit in the hand. Those muscles actually sit in the forearm. Those muscles are actually here. So the muscles in the front of your forearm right here, they're actually all about, they're all about flexing the fingers and the hands in that direction. And we've diagrammed them here. And there's a bunch of names for them, and I encourage folks to look them up. But it's a really interesting thing, because we're often used to muscles being directly where the motion is. But in this case, these muscles, when they're in action, they contract. They contract. And muscles, when they're in action, do contract. So they're going to contract, and they're going to pull, essentially, on tendons. They're going to pull the whole hand that way. You could view it as a kind of a pulley. So if this was, if you view your wrist joint as kind of a, as a, as a pulley of some kind, and then if you had a rope, if you had a rope that is attached, let's say it's attached to another block. And that block you can kind of view as your hand and your fingers. So that block is your hand. These muscles, these muscles right over here, they contract this way. So it's analogous to pulling on this rope. And if you were to pull on this rope, what would happen to this block up here? Well, this block up here is going to go in that general direction. So that's what keeps your hand and your fingers going that way. But what about the entire forearm? So once again, the muscles that get your entire forearm going in that direction aren't in your forearm. They are in the back of your upper arm. So they are right over here, often referred to as the triceps. The official name are the triceps brachii, but they're right over here. And it's called triceps because it's kind of a three-headed muscle. There's three muscle bundles that are going on. And when these muscles right over here, your triceps, when they contract, when they contract, they allow your entire forearm to essentially straighten out on your elbow. So they'll go in that direction. In this case, when this, this muscle, the triceps, contract, your entire forearm is going to pivot on your elbow and go and go like that, which will allow the basket to go in the intended direction.